Hello, wonderful people, and welcome to another weekly vlog. Thank you so much for being a YouTube member or patron over on Patreon. I hope that you're enjoying these videos. Over the weekend, I got busy in the dye studio and dyed up four more colorways from the advent calendars. So this one is Currents, and it's the very pretty green-blue color that looks almost like an undersea or under the ocean waves, just very tropical looking. Um, I dyed all of them up on my Posh DK and Single DK because I have hats and mitts and other super warm cozy things in mind. So there will be a big DK update this week with some new colors. This is Cherry Berry, which is another really pretty, just very subtly variegated between a couple different colors. Um, I really like how these look and I'm really excited to see how they would knit up into a hat. I think I'm going to cast one on for myself. In between dyeing while I was waiting for those colors to set, I of course pulled out my Lumina wrap and got busy adding another color section into that. And if I could always knit this fast, uh, that would be fantastic. But alas, <laughs> this is about four times speed, I think. So, um, but again, just really enjoying this Lamina. Um, I love the colors. I love the fade. This last one is just ooh, so pretty with those little bright speckles in there. Oh, I love this project so much. I will never get tired of working on it. And of course, I've got Suge and Jazzy just hanging out and we were watching Emperor's New Groove because best movie ever. Back at the dye pots, I speckled up another new colorway called Fairy Floss. This is a bright pops of pink, um, almost like not necessarily hot pink, but kind of a magenta-y pink. And then we tossed some dark, deep, uh, almost raven colored like deep black speckles on top and I love how this one turns out as well Hey y'all, you got me in my car again. I am picking my daughter up from school. She has a doctor's appointment this morning and so I'm just oh, taking a couple minutes um, to do that. And goodness, over the weekend I just did a whole lot of dyeing, a whole lot of knitting. Um, it, was, it was a really good weekend. We watched some movies and yeah, it's just really chill. I love weekends like that. So I've got four new colorways all dyed up and ready to go for the shop update this week. Um, those are colors from the advent calendars. So that's exciting. And you will have seen a little bit of those. Sorry for the vertical uh, videos, but uh, you know, between Instagram reels, TikTok, YouTube, like, can we just, can we all come to a conclusion that they should all be one size? That would be fantastic. But I see my daughter, so I'm going to chat with y'all in a bit. Hey y'all, I just went for whew, a quick, quick 30 minute walk. Um, it's about 26 to 30 degrees out Fahrenheit, um, but the sun is really nice. So I was like, let's just do it. So I've got my Musselberg hat on, which is now really sweaty. Like I am sweating under my coat and hat, uh, but my face is frozen. <laughs> 
Um, but yeah, just glad to get back outside and enjoy a little bit of sunshine every now and again. So you got to take it when you can. But now I need to grab some lunch and get back to the work for the rest of the afternoon. So I'll check in with you in a bit. Hey folks, uh, the work day is over and I am just getting ready to head upstairs, but wanted to have a little bit of a chat. Um, I had put out a poll uh, in the Discord server and then again in over on Patreon. Um, I will likely be putting up polls in my Instagram feeds too, but I'm really starting to brainstorm for Advents and surprise, um, Advents are going to be coming right around the corner already. And as a dyer, it's really a full year's worth of just prep and brainstorming and acquiring all the materials that you need. It is seriously, it's, it's a whole, it's a whole thing. So I'm starting to do some brainstorming and wanted to know if everyone enjoys the random colors of just opening up completely random colors every day. Every day is a complete surprise or I'm kind of playing around with the idea of attempting a fade. Um, the fades that I've opened, I really, really enjoy. However, I'm very nervous that I may not be able to pull off a fade. That seems really intense when you're thinking of 24 colors and fading through a rainbow. Like, I don't know if I'm confident in promising that. <laughs> I would love to try. Um, so yeah, I'll, in Discord, I did have people, more people saying that they would love to, to have a fade. Over on Patreon, everyone was like, I like the randomness. So, ooh, I don't know what to do. I would love to get your input, any feedback you might have. Um, or I can not promise a fade, attempt a fade. If it doesn't work out, then I'll just be like, oops, random colors. <laughs> That's pretty much how uh, I roll anyway, but I would love, love, love to do a fade. Um, I think it would be really interesting. I also was wondering about um, the full size skeins. I think in a couple of them that I received myself that I purchased from other dyers, I didn't get a full skein. Some of them I did. Um, I know Advents can get pricey and so I'm trying to brainstorm ways of kind of keeping that price down while also allowing people to experience the full Advent wonderfulness that it is. Um, right now, as I typically have them, you get 24 mini skeins, you get a full size skein, um, then you get lots of extra goodies inside and of course then you have to package everything and the materials to make the boxes or the packages put together. It's it's quite a lot and you know things are only going up in price as we are into year two or three of this pandemic and supplies are short, things are getting more and more expensive so I'm really trying to brainstorm ways to keep the cost down for you but also making it worthwhile um, for me as a business owner and so I attempted a 24 day fade or not a fade I attempted a 24 day advent last year, but also offered 12 day advents um, for those that wanted to keep uh, the cost down for them. And I don't know if I liked having the two different options. It was a lot to kind of keep track of. And then I know a lot of people were feeling left out when their 12 days were up um, and they were still watching, you know, the next 12 days of advent. So. I think I'm going to toss out the 12 day advent option. However, I do plan on looking into some solutions on the website where maybe you can make payments instead of just doing like buying it up front in one big payment. Um, so yeah, again, just brainstorming, brain dumping here, chatting with you, giving you a little bit of behind the scenes of the things that go through my head as a yarn dyer business owner. Um, but I would love, like I said, love to hear any and all feedback. If you don't feel comfortable leaving it in a public comment, um, definitely shoot me a DM over on Instagram. Send me an email at hello at loftyloops.com. Whatever the case may be, I would love to hear your thoughts. Um, and I promise that I will try to make it as amazing as I 
humanly can. <laughs> um, but yeah, Advents are around the corner. Ah, oh, that's so crazy to think about. I'm going to have to start prepping them in probably two months from now. And then the first listings will go up in April usually. That's going to come quicker than we think. It's bonkers. It's bonkers. It's madness. But, okay, I'm going to grab my knitting and head upstairs and get settled in for the evening. I think I'm going to make some chicken and rice for dinner. And, yeah, going to have hopefully a quiet evening, but we shall see. It's always a toss-up in this house. Never a dull moment. Just before lunch, Amazon dropped off some new purchases I made for the shop. I bought a bunch of new backdrops. Um, I've been using the same backdrop for images for as long as I can remember, and I thought it was just time to switch things up. But you know, Amazon ships everything in boxes and um, rolled up, so I took most of my lunch hour is just standing there with the hair dryer trying to flatten those darn things out and it was a chore but they did turn out so pretty in the end i'm really excited to be able to start using them for product photography and of course my husband could not resist being a clown and pretending to take photos of the yarn while i was <laughs> standing there trying to flatten these like i said never a dull moment in this house um, I will link these below if you're interested in them. Like I said, they're just on Amazon. Um, the ones I'm unrolling now were my favorites, but I decided to grab the other group just as backups. But I love this blue color on top. Um, it may not always work for every single product I want to take a photo of because it is blue, but um, they're double-sided, so each each one has a backside and a different image. So lots of options available and I'll flip through them here in just a moment to share them with you but uh, yep rolling these un or trying to get them to unroll and warming them up and oh my um, maybe I need some big clamps or something but until then this giant jug of vegetable oil and my giant box of granola bars are gonna have to do the trick um, and hopefully by later this evening they will have been laid flat long enough that they'll stay that way, but we shall see. So here I'll flip through really quickly. Here's that blue and I, you're getting a lot of reflection off of my sliding door, so um, sorry about that. But the backside is this really intense, almost like a concrete. Um, so yeah, just some fun textures. There's some wood textures. There's some marble textures. And just some more stone and concrete. So yeah, lots of options and I'm really excited to take photos. So you'll see those hopefully soon. Watermelon. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna play with your toy, I guess. <laughs> Silly cat, I swear she didn't mind it. 
Uh, we took it off shortly after this, but it was just too funny not to share. Uh, but we did spend the rest of the evening watching the final few episodes of Dexter, and I worked on my pinwheel scrap blanket using my blush yarns, minis, and honestly today my hand is feeling it. I must have been just intensely knitting during uh, Dexter, but because this episode is getting rather long and we're only halfway through the week, you guys are going to get a bonus episode, so I'm going to sign off here. I want to say a huge thank you to the supporters of the channel and the patrons over on Patreon, and I'll see you guys very, very soon.